Hi, welcome back. I'm Steph Sabra, joined by <laughs> Kristen Stephen Savino. I love him. Stephen Savino. Yo, hi, <laughs> sup? We're doing this. We're doing this. It's a million hellos. We are, by the end of our journey together, probably going to become like a buddy detective duo because that seems to be the realm we're playing in and we love it. Yep. I'll speak for both of us so I can say Thank that. You. Yeah, yeah, you speak. You yeah. speak away. Today. She knows my hands are so. I know that she she feels the same way about this. Today, we are going to hit another classic that we have been dodging, not purposefully, our entire lives. Haven't ever seen Lethal Weapon. I hear all the time, Lethal Weapon? You haven't seen Lethal Weapon? No, I haven't seen it. But I'm we're really just, looking forward to it. Yeah, we're just late bloomers, you guys. Yeah. Late bloomers. But it's kind of cool because now we get to watch it with you. So I feel like it was all in good time. All right. So since you're on YouTube, you will be seeing a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a certain amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch this entire movie with us, then you can do that one of two ways. You can either become a patron at patreon.com slash or a member on this channel right here. All you'll need is your own version of the film. And I'll give you a three, two, one countdown and then we'll be synced up. And it's basically like we're watching it together, which is very awesome. And we would appreciate that. If you're already a patron or member, thank you. You're great. You're absolutely stellar. And if you're just on YouTube, you're stellar too. But just make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications and vote this up and we are gonna get into it. Oscar nominee, okay. You know it's good then. All right, yeah, the Oscars know everything. <laughs> Look at her just laying there. I think like, oh, yeah, I do this all the time. <laughs> What's happening? Is she dreaming, well, yeah. sleeping? No, is she, she a drug? No, I guess she's smiling. Hmm. I know back then all the guys loved this scene. Yeah, but what is she doing? Maybe she's on something. Hmm. If that doesn't circle back. Okay, she's on cocaine. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That was weird. I'm like, who are you playing with? Just yourself, which is fine. <laughs> but I don't understand. Are you? Uh. Don't accidentally die. You don't want that. Why? Why? Are you unhappy? No! <laughs> okay, that was a hell of a way. You're lucky you landed like that. What an intro. <laughs> Not when a man's in his bath. No privacy. No privacy. <laughs> but that's days. me with my mom. Not even enough I'm bubbles. Not lie. Yeah. Oh yeah, me too. I, I'm like, hey. I'm like, Dad, can I see your phone? Yeah, I don't care. I'm like, I don't care what you're doing. I'm in there. You know what? Your beard's getting gray. Kind of makes you look old. But I mean, that's alright though, because I still love you. <laughs> Bye, Pop. <laughs> Ruthless. <laughs> and you're luckier guy everyone likes a little salt and pepper they do i hate that i hate that men get better looking with age and it's, women it's don't it's not that I they not do, it's not that they do more than women it's that no. we have let society shape our all of our thoughts into being like that's acceptable and that's not true right yeah now, and i'll give you your money back you uh, booty's hairy yeah yeah, it happens. See, and that's fine for guys. Yeah, that's fine, that's too. That's fine. If a girl had a hairy booty, it's like, ugh, the end of the world. Right. Your office called. He's been trying to reach you for three days now. I'm going to talk to him in 12 years. Huh. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. Damn. Roger? Uh, yeah, babe. How come I never heard of Michael Hunt Stacker? Uh, I just never talked about him, huh? Vietnam, buddy? Uh, yeah, I, I eat no. your own cake, Vietnam. Good questions, wifey. Age 22, prostitute. Oh. Parents. What What was the name? Hunsucker. Yeah, yeah, the parents. Oh, parents. Michael and Claire. Claire. Oh, my God. You know them. All right, find out about it. Who's, who's, who's paying the bills? That'll take some looking into. So look. Ooh, ooh it's oh. personal. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. Damn. That's sad. 
You think she was a prostitute too? Yeah. That's why she did it. She wasn't happy. Or she got on drugs, and then whoever was her pimp was her supplier. It didn't look like she was miserable. It looked like she was like trying to fly, right? No, he's not. I'll give you the best tree I got in a lot for nothing. Hey, thanks. But the shit's gonna cost you, uh, a hundred. hundred what? Okay. Ninety-five, ninety-six. Forget it, you dumb shit! One hundred thousand! One hundred thousand dollars! Sorry, I can't afford that, not on my salary. But look, I'll tell you what, I got a better idea. Here. Now, let me say I, uh, I take the whole stash off your hands for free. You assholes can go to jail. Hey. <laughs> now I can read you guys your rights, but now nah, you guys already know what your rights are, don't you? Nope. Legally, if you don't. Now that's a real badge. I'm a real cop, and this is a real fucking gun. Okay, pal. Hey, nose is in the dirt, asshole. Whoa. Okay, spin move. All righty. Bet. No, he's oh because maybe now he's tripping. Yeah, he's he's, he's like he's like moving around like those a little. are some coke flips. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say bets on if he's a real cop or not. Seems like he is, right? Mm, yes, he is. <laughs> Whoa, the tensions are high. Yeah, dude, that's pretty brave for him to say that. Speaking of, uh, sir, kept tweaking. Lay off the powder. <laughs> I mean, but he did take a pretty big uh, chunk of it. I would that see. That's a person who should probably not be a cop. <laughs> yeah, he's a little psycho. Okay, so what happened to him? Lost his wife. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, this movie is very dark. Down, yeah. He's gonna get a call. Yeah, you know, some people do that and they still live through the blunt. I know, that's the worst. Yeah. Oh. What? This is so intense. Something happened to her. Yikes. He wants the cash. I've seen it a hundred times, but he'll come around. That's a very dangerous attitude. May I remind you that his wife of 11 years was recently killed in a car accident. He's also been known to pull his gun I know all about it. She died in an accident. Mm. I'm telling you, he may be psychotic. Bunch of oh yeah. The man is. And you're he sure is. of that okay. diagnosis? You have no doubts. You know that. Yep. Life? End of, of discussion. It can't We're gonna be wait. End. So she died in a car accident. Yep. So sad. Not long ago. Everybody thinks I'm. In which case I'm. And nobody wants to work with me. True. I don't want to work with you. Hey, don't. Ain't got no choice. Looks like we both the. Fucked. Right. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Mendez. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. Where the hell did you get him? Psychos or us? I don't think you're funny. I don't think this whole goddamn setup's funny. Hey! Do you smoke? Yeah. Give me your lighter. My, my lighter? Your lighter! Yeah, okay. I, yeah, right here. Okay. Here. Take it. He looks so different in this to me. Oh, I <laughs> What you know the hell? Oh. Hey, why is he doing this? You guys are fucking crazy, man. Come on. Is it not burning? What the it? heck? Have Indo look at that, Mr. Joshua. Yes, sir. I'm confused. You wish to make a purchase, yes? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Jesus Christ, yes. Yeah. Were they seems he was wired? Have the money ready and no tricks. If you try anything. You'll have to talk to Mr. Josh. Yeah, right. Josh. Yeah, right. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah, right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
Tis the season not to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. A lot of psycho shit happening. Hey, hey, that would sound pretty good. <laughs> I want you to find whoever's responsible for this. However many of them there are. Wait, wait, Raj, Raj. Come on, you find him. You find him and you kill him. You can do that. You owe me. That's why he didn't take your calls. I owe you. Gotta go, man. Hmm. Hey, what did he mean when he said you owed him? Uh, we served together in 1965, uh, the Drang Valley. It saved my life. It took a bayonet in the lungs. Oh, that was right of him. <laughs> This generation of men all needed serious therapy. We got an address on the man to hunsack his meal ticket. But, but remember, he's not a suspect yet. So we question him, not damage him, okay? Oh, sure, yeah. Okay, I won't hurt. Look, I'll let you do all the talking. Let me do all the talking. Remember that. Let me do all the talking. It's, it's going to go the opposite. How's that music? It was the 80s. Oh. Uh oh. Great probable uh, cause. Look, no, they don't even. Get the girl. Get the girl. Okay. Ah. Put your hands out there. Put your hands out there. Let me see your hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, surveil. Uh. Oh no, now he's gonna go suck in the pool. Oh yikes, that's Get a him really out! Oh, wow, man. that's like the worst swim contraption ever. Yeah. Lift him up! Uh, messy, yeah. uh, messy, messy. He said, oops. You ever met anybody you didn't kill? Well, I haven't killed you yet. <laughs> you saved my life. Thank you. You're welcome. I bet that hurt to say. <laughs> Hello, baby. Hi, honey. I want you to be. <gasps> She's iconic. Mm hmm. Uh, how come we didn't have fish tonight? I thought we had fish tonight. Don't worry about the fish. Ooh. Or something happening. Yeah. Oh, not since I was a kid, I used to go spear fishing. Uh oh. Uh oh. So oh. I got a crush. Girl. No. A girl. No. I got that big old boat out there. Girl. Don't do it. No. Girl, you stop. Yeah, and your mother said, get the dessert. Oh, my God, girl. That's too young to be into older men. You need yeah. to at least live outside the house. Yep. You're beautiful, but no. She is. But He's not your age. You're still living in your father's home. You got a hell of a nice family there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're a cop and you're drinking and well, you're driving I home. The meal. Thanks a lot. Bullshit, but thanks anyway. Just throw that out there. It is a really nice family. <laughs> I love his family. Yeah, the great family dynamic. They got like a great, like, they're fun. Yeah, they're not annoying. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. What you got here? Please have it. Oh no. That would scare me. Think of like, I would be like, who sent this? Right. Or did he get it from work? Hmm. What's the high school? Oh, Palos Verdes. That's Long Beach. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wife, I'm just watching this for work. Yeah. Why does she turn the other way? Oh, wait, there's two of them? <gasps> wait. Wait. There's coming more. 
morning, Roger. Uh. Here, have some coffee. Hey, Roger, I've been doing a little thing. I've been doing a lot of things, actually, about the night a man, a Hunsecker, died. Oh, how'd you get here? Uh, Trish let me in. <laughs> Listen, about the night a man, a Hunsecker, died, she... What was the name of that hooker who witnessed the jump? Oh, come on, you let me go to sleep. No, come on, we gotta get up and catch bad guys today. Okay, 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 I'll go get real a shower. Policeman. I'll get a shower. I'll yeah. A shower. <laughs> oh! What? Obviously, it's something. Oh, did you see that? Wasn't that great? Wow. <laughs> Not the 3D glasses. Do you think Dixie oh, no. was on? Oh. I really hope not. Oh, damn. There she was. We have a case to break, boys. We have a case to break. One of them saw a guy checking the meter. Where? Here at Dixie's. He was playing some kind of game, hiding under the porch. He says he saw the guy pretty good, too. It could be a break. Oh, what are you kidding? Those kids are six years old. If that. You call the gas company? Sure did. Right. Here's the little fellow that saw the guy. Hi. My name is Detective Murtaugh. What's yours? Don't tell him your name. Don't tell me your name was going to put you in jail. And you won't see your mom. Right, I'm not going to put you in jail. Come on, what's your name? No. Don't tell me your name, Alfred. I, uh, Alfred. <laughs> I love kids. This is Alfred. Alfred, hi. How old are you, Alfred? Six. Stop. Mama says police miss you black people. Is it true? Oh. Then you saw the meter man. Get a good look at him? I saw him. Great. Now tell me what uh -oh, he looks he like. sees him. Was he black? Uh-oh. Mm -mm. Was he white? Mm-hmm. He's the cop. Okay. Was he tall? Oh, tall like me? What color was his hair? Was it brown? Black? Brown. Blonde. Mm -hmm. Blonde. His hair was blonde. What uh what did he have on? Jeans? He have jeans on? It was pain. Pain? Pain? Uh, pain. I don't know. Pain. It was bad. Exactly like that? What? Mm-hmm. I saw it good. This is it, I remember. Oh. Roger, that's a special forces tattoo. Oh, shit. A special forces tattoo. Mercury switches. Damn. Oh, he's wearing orange. You want to tell me about it? Stay out like a sweatshirt. Tell me about what? Don't bullshit me. Oh, I know where this is. Your daughter wasn't killed because that's of right. something she was into. Uh, she was killed because of something you're into. It. Ooh. I was with a special unit called Shadow Company, Merck's trained killers. When Charlie was bringing in heroin to finance the VC government, Shadow Company went in, we burned the whole thing down. The war was over. But we still had our list of sources in Asia. And? And we've been bringing it in ever since. Bringing in what? What? Weapons? Heroin. Oh, drugs, okay. This is big business, Roger. Not anymore. I'm gonna burn it down. Hell yeah. Mm. Uh-oh. Put the daughter in police custody. Mm. Bring down the helicopter, psycho cop. Very much so. Period. Oh. I thought for sure he took them down. Help. Don't call him lethal weapon if we're not gonna get so lethal. Uh, yeah. Mr. Hunsaker is dead, sir. I'm afraid, however, that another problem exists. Hunsaker spoke to the police, sir. Are they dead? No, sir, I missed the opportunity. Very disappointing. Roger, well, I think it's time we turned up the heat. Come on home. Hmm. Hey, listen, I'm looking for a guy. Had this girl in his stable. You know this girl? No, i never seen her before. Dixie, she's in your line of work, you sure? Sure, why? What are you doing? Well, I'm a police officer. Don't worry, I'm not gonna drag your ass in jail. Oh, no. Did he get shot? Did they get him? That's a big gun! Damn! Glass, he's lucky he's not... 
guy again? Hopefully your vest caught that, but yeah. damn, that must have hurt. You wore your vest. Yeah. That's smart, kid. Mm. Smart. You wore your vest. Hold on. I'm on your side. I'm on your side. Okay, kid. Okay. Yeah, they shot you. Mm -hmm. The guy who shot me. The guy who shot me. Yeah, what about? The same albino jackrabbit son of a bitch that did Hunsaker. You sure? I'm sure, man. I never forget an asshole. <laughs> Virgil, we got a body for you. Male, Caucasian, age 17. Uh, 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 356. Uh, negative. Get someone else to do it, okay? You yeah, know that was pretty... To you. Third in the ocean. About two blocks from your house. Uh, oh, no. Two blocks from your house. Probably blonde with uh, big dimples. How'd you, you know, know that, Sarge? Over. Give a description of the kid my daughter's dating. Of his daughter's date. Oh, my God. Uh, Uh-oh. Good circle back, though. Character description. Yeah. Uh-oh. Bastard's got my daughter. Oh. That's heartbreaking. <gasps> How are they so advanced? Oh, yeah, they're ex. Murtaugh. You have a very beautiful... If I were you, I'd stick by the phone to find out where to meet us. You know they're gonna kill her, don't you? Yes. No. We do this my way. You shoot, you yeah. shoot to kill. You get as many as you can. All you gotta do is just not miss. I won't miss. Yeah, it's his daughter. Amazing. Yep. Lethal weapon out. Yep. I'd be scared out of my mind. Yikes. Show me my daughter. Let me see her. Then I come quietly. Lethal weapon, get ready. Let her go now or we all die. He has a grenade. He's bluffing. He wouldn't risk killing his own daughter. She's gonna die. She's gonna die with me. My way. Not Period. Yours. Damn. Period. End of discussion. I like that. Come on, goddamn it, Roger. Get out of the way. Move to your left. Come on, Roger. Yeah, if you come closer, and we all die. No. I don't think so. Oh. Is it a dud? It's a smoker. Oh. Period. Run. Run, girl. Damn it, it's rigged. Yup. You know who it is. Your Lethal worst weapon. nightmare. Get out of here. There's someone. Yep. No, but skirt, there's someone skirt. still in the car. This, this is him. Don't try never it, mind, son. never mind. He's out of the car. You're not that fast. Okay, never mind. We've heard of each other. Yep. It'll almost be a shame when I nail you. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran into some of those shadow company pussies in Saigon <laughs> about six times. <laughs> this guy is mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> if they do... Uh, damn. Why are you getting out, sweetie girl? Honey girl, you're... Duh! It's getting nowhere. It's <laughs> large. <laughs> Who's going to come help? You know, My boy, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, he's, he's dangerous. Nobody can take that. He's going to get out. Fine. Badass soldier, huh? I think she's dead. I don't know. They put her in her undies. Oh, no. Sorry, pal. Say goodnight. Yep, yeah, good night. Good night, Charlie. Hasta luego. Told you. He's still a weapon. Now, now how you gonna Damn. Are right, we gonna climb up? There's a scene in Suicide Squad that reminds me a lot of that. Oh, he got up? I love this guy. Very nice. good. 
That's a He's real good-looking young woman. You oh, got no. Mr. Please Rose. don't be sick. Please don't be sick. I'm warning you. Don't. Spare me, son. It's over. There's no more heroes left in the world. Yeah, you wanna bet? Yeah. You wanna bet? Lethal weapon! Knock him out! You were saying? Bang! You were saying? You were saying? One thing. There's no heroes. Come back. Sounds like you called the boogeyman in. McAllister! Who's oh, she's gonna do something? What's this girl gonna do? Be brave? Pretty thin, huh? Pretty <laughs> thin. Anorexic. Okay. Girl, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have gone through this. No. He doesn't miss! Oh. No. It's not Joshua. Oh, we need Joshua. Is that him? Give me some backup and take care of the girl. Uh oh. This guy's good at what he does, though. Right. I mean, they came from the same training. <laughs> this guy belongs on Fast and Furious. Nice. Driving nice. skills. Yup. Yup. Yep. What? They're all trying to save him. These poor people. Caught in LA traffic. <laughs> Mind if I test drive your Audi? I'd be like, yeah, sure. He got my car! Ah! <laughs> oh. Yeah, you've met your match, take man. His, take his car, though. Let's get out of here. No, you're gonna die. Open the door! Mm. Uh oh. Oh. You're my cop, son of a bitch. Did you set no up a. Way no way. Dude, I feel like you. Yup. Yup. Yep. He answered oh, right there, right? You see all oh. that coat or heroin you see those fly? Arms? You're gonna throw it at him. Or just take himself out real quick. Ooh! Well, shit! Got one more. What now, kids? Ow! Well, first thing we gotta do is get you to the hospital, huh? Yeah, Great, you've been yeah. shot on, at go. least once. No, oh, there's one more guy out there, though. Was that necessary? You're just shooting? Like, you're just mad because you lost? Yep. You don't even know this family or the guy. Dear bad guys, no one here but us cops. Sorry, the good guys. That's great. Hilarious. Maybe that's an explosive in that present. Crazy son of a bitch. Ah! Okay. There's nobody in it. Wasn't expecting that. Nope. Yeah, take that. Ha ha, he's gotcha. What do you say, Jack? Would you like a shot at the title? Don't mind if I do. Wow, really? Really? You're Wait, gonna give you that guys, you're gonna give it the shot? You guys, what is the point of hand-to-hand -hand combat right now? I don't understand this one. I mean, I guess now it's interesting. Cause they want him alive, I guess. Yeah. Brutal. Ow! Headache. Woo! Concussion. Ooh! What do you know? Uh oh! Lethal oh. weapon. You do, do your job. job! You do your job! Riggs. There we go. Why? I don't He's 
now cheating with the pool. Can we just shoot him in the leg? Yeah. That lethal like weapon is like literally resentless. Come on. What's the play here? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh shit. No, he's getting his ass kicked. Why not? What's the play, Lethal? Uh, okay. Now okay, you're we done. get Choke it. Out. You're Choke really out. freaking cool. It's not worth it. Oh, you grew up. Meanwhile, his partner's like, break his neck. Oh no. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Damn! You got the one two. Bop bop. Oh my, that oh, shot. I don't know who it was. Okay, bro, who man. Was it? Yo. Yes. Oh, did anybody get hit? I got you. Uh, I a... got you, partner. Oh. He's visiting his wife. Oh. You got invited to Christmas dinner. Give this to your dad, okay? Uh, it's a present for him. Tell him I won't be needing it anymore. You're invited to Christmas dinner. Bullet. Yeah, it's a bullet. Aww. I'm not suicidal. You having a nice Christmas, though, okay? Okay, you too. Bye. Stay away from older men. Right. <laughs> you need to get in here. I feel like I'm protected over I'm like a part of this family. And I know. Like, I just love them. I love the family. Yeah. Like, absolutely. Not. Yo. I love that rip friendship. I'll tell you a little secret. What? I'm not crazy. I know. Oh, good. Let's eat. <laughs> oh, I, I think your daughter kind of likes me. If you touch her, I'll kill you. <laughs> You'll try it. Hey, you mind if I bring a friend? <laughs> if you bring a friend. Hey. Oh, oh you got a dog. He brought Lassie. That was really that was good. Cute. You think I'm gonna eat my my wife's terrible turkey? <laughs> I feel you. Don't make me do it alone. Yeah, I had a pretty rough Thanksgiving at a friend's house. Oh, once, and I was like, uh, like, why didn't we order Chinese? It's fine if you can't cook. All I care about is just self awareness. If you can't cook, it's fine. My sister can't cook, I which she'll you, order. I love how you're, you go straight to Chinese. That's like such a thing here in the U.S. I know like Chinese restaurants are like the only ones that open, stay open on Christmas or Christmas Eve. So like all my Jewish friends love Chinese and Asian restaurants because they're like, thank you for being the one non-observing holiday place. <laughs> We can Things eat. Being open, and then for those who can't cook <laughs> yeah. on the holidays, and they're open late. Yeah, so it's helpful. This was a banger. This was a banger. This was so good. It was such a fun. It, you can, I can see why it's like when people talk about like buddy cop, they yeah. can't not bring up Lethal Weapon because they did such a great job of establishing these characters of two people who shouldn't be in the same room together, no. let alone partners, and then watching them blossom and they they're both kind of the anecdote of what the other needed in a way and gotta say mel gibson plays an incredible psycho unhinged yes, cop with talent <laughs> i loved his character development yeah. big time and he you know he did like you said he did an amazing job when yeah, his eyes were a uh, man. Like, I swear I was it was like, like a flashlight was in yes. four seven. Uh, right? He was like He held it and then and then I thought like the moment he went to his home, his buddy's home, right? That's when I think his heart starts to kind of like sink and he yeah. starts seeing like family. He, it, it goes back to like that that gentle love. Those who are harsh or lacking. They need it the most. Yes. Yeah. And I love the like I love the part where he starts working on the trust and he knows he doesn't trust him, but he asks him, "Hey, did you really like my wife's cooking?" He never really necessarily said, you know, nobody's gonna sit there and be like, "Yeah, my wife's cooking mine really sucks," but they're gonna like maybe low key do it. But the fact that he asked that question to see if he'd give him a right. solid answer, and I love that beat, I love that pause mm -hmm. and that eye contact of, "I want to like offend you," you know. But then he's like, "Nah." <laughs> Just, <laughs> no, not personal. It wasn't good. And then right th there for that being the 
the premise of which he can trust him. Yes. Was such I like smart. I love yeah. that. I love that they used that for the trusting, like the, the start of the trust. Yeah. You know? And the way he said it, because it wasn't like he was trying to drag his wife or say it was bad. It was just very honestly like this guy might be a lot of things, but he's not a liar. Yes. And he did. He can, but he was still thankful to be a part of the dinner. And to your point about loving the family, sometimes when you get like just quick shots of a family, they're like, hi, dad, you want to build blocks with me? And they're so annoying and earnest. And you're like trying to p- paint this perfect American family. This yeah. one just felt like a really loving, good family. Yeah, like you you couldn't, you could not not like them. Yeah, I love them. Like they, you could just see the love. You could see the communication. You see the bond between each and every single character, which is interesting because that's hard to do when you have a short amount of time that showcases the family especially when they're not really fully the main characters yeah like the little boy the little girl like you know all uh, the wife and the dog the oldest daughter like you got a little bit more of the oldest daughter but still it was so quick but you could still see the love and the bond and the the comedy and like it was just a, a, a very lovable family like you want to be you want to be a part of mm-hmm. you know whether the cooking's good or not you want in <laughs> yeah thanks like, you know and i love uh the bad guys were actually like i liked how they were like clever I like yeah, it was like, cool that they were ex ops, so yeah. they they really knew what they were doing, which gave them a really quick way for the viewer to know these guys know what they're doing. But we didn't need to know really much about them. They clearly the writer wanted to spend time on Glover and Gibson, mm-hmm. which makes sense. Yeah, that's who we're coming to see the movie for, especially at this time in that relationship. I, yeah, but I think it was still like it was very clear what they were doing. They had a huge drug operation and they use their skill sets mm-hmm. very well and that's kind of all we needed to know for this yeah, specific I, movie I, like normally i want more but yeah. like, i'm not upset at the fact that they're like it was it was kind of clean like short yeah with them normally you know you want a little bit more of the, just, villain, I, I, of the villain but I, I honestly didn't really mind this although i did the more the story unraveled all i kept feeling was in a little bit anxiety and like the stress it's gonna be long for them to discover like, like that's a lot of work out. yeah all i keep thinking is that's a lot of work but other than that it was done pretty well uh, i love that the use of the little kids in that in the neighborhood yeah and it's like so funny because you have Dixie, who's, you know, a hooker. And the little boys are very well aware because, you know, they've grown up in a different part of town. But they're very, very well aware that, hey, she's probably getting in trouble a lot. And like, oh. Of their surroundings, who their yes. neighbors are. And they're, and they're very on it. And they're like, oh, these are cops. So, you know, you're not probably supposed to say shouldn't trust anything. Them. But they're still young and innocent. Yeah. And I loved how he's like, don't give him your name. And then he blobs out his name. He's like, hold on, you. Don't tell him your age. Don't tell him you're six. You know, like, I know. it's just so cute. Yeah. But. <laughs> It's really cute. Yeah, and it's just, I love that vibe. Yeah, I think the writer did a really cute. good job, of, especially because they I can... involved the community. Right, they involved the community, but I think they did, even back then, they probably couldn't foresee the issues of mm-hmm. just dealing with cop movies in general now and kind of trying to play like good cops but also understand how society might view yeah. them and so for this time i feel I like think, it was done still yeah. even if you made the movie now i think they handled that perfectly where you address what the viewer in society is asking and yes. thinking but also making it um a good contained story within itself so and then there was like little plays on that where they didn't make the movie about race or anything but no, it was but they but, but they, they made men- a full world for yes. you there was a lived in yes. world. I just think the opening was very beautiful. Yeah, and then it and made it, us and it yes. Yes. I, I liked it. It was sexy, but it was also kind of like, uh, okay. And then it was kind of like, bam. Like, right. All right, we're here. I know. I loved how the story unfolded. So, yeah. all in all, great movie. Thanks for hanging out with us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications before you go. I'm Steph Sabra. This is Kristen Stepaspino. Much love. Bye.